guys this is terrain I'm back again with another video today I'm gonna do a video on sacred geometry I'm doing this video because someone asked me a really interesting question they wanted to know how these ancient masters received their information and how were they able to retain all of this information sometimes you know you're talking about lifetimes of information coming from one person so to answer their question you know when these these masters these ancient Vedic masters when they would go way up into the mountains you know when these monks would go way into the caves you know um, shaman they would go way deep into the forest okay you know every culture and tradition is different but they did the same thing they got away from everyone to go in to complete isolation this allowed them to go deep within their subconscious mind when they got deep within their subconscious mind okay they went into that space of darkness okay they embraced that darkness that I talked about on the video previously and when, when you get into that space of darkness you begin to see again actually but this time you actually see the writ fabric and code of the universe this writ fabric and code and language of the universe is known as sacred geometry sacred geometry is really interesting because when we stare into it, we don't necessarily know exactly what we're staring into, but your subconscious mind not only knows what it's looking at, but it downloads the information into your subconscious mind, okay? And because this, down, this information is literally downloaded into your mind, okay, it becomes a part of your programming. All right. So the more shapes, the more shape, sacred geometrical shapes and patterns that you stare into, the more of this coding and programming you will actually have in your DNA, making you um, a lot more in tune, tapped in, a lot smarter. Okay, a lot in tune with the universe. Okay, you're going straight to the source okay and you're taking that information straight into your DNA and a lot of these shamans and priests did that okay this is why they were able to intrinsically just give off so much information like I said sometimes lifetimes of information that you know it, you can't study that long and this is one of the uh, powerful techniques that was used in a lot of these cultures okay um, you know some of these uh, ancient masters and, and priests and shaman, whatever, they would uh, also take uh, psychedelics like um, mushrooms or ayahuasca and they would see the same exact patterns. Okay, they actually took these things to get to the point, you know, that DMT when it's flowing to um, actually see this fabric of the universe. Okay, so I'm doing this video, of course, I'm going to give you. Um, something you can do to awaken that part um, within you and, and allow you to do the same thing. Go on YouTube, okay, go type in sacred geometrical patterns or go type in yantras and you will be able to stare at these patterns as well okay so stare into these patterns for about 10 minutes a day 10 minutes a day stare directly into the center of the patterns take away get away from distractions and um i guarantee you a month from now there'll be a lot of information that you have within you okay you will move different you'll act different you will um intrinsically start giving off a lot of universal information okay we have sacred geometry in everything literally that exists uh, in this universe okay if you look at a snowflake you'll see those patterns if you look at a leaf you will see those patterns okay um, these codes some of these codes contain a lot of secrets within our universe so 
for example, you know, in, in some of these shapes and patterns, you'll see the actual secret to how math was actually created, okay? You will see how equations were actually formulated, okay? So, you know, there's a lot of secrets, okay? And then we have market geometry. I'm going to do a video on that. You know, you, you can actually use sacred geometry to um, predict you know how the market will sway okay so this coding you know if we really get into it we can do a lot of powerful things so it's really important stare into those shapes okay I know you don't know what the hell you're looking at that's okay that's fine stare into those shapes stare into as many of those shapes as possible and I guarantee you you'll be satisfied with the uh, programming you were able to put into your DNA so you know I just wanted to do that quick video you know um you know where to find me seven sage metaphysics.com make sure you subscribe and like this video peace